Say Brewski. Say hi. I'm Brewski. Say, I don't know what math is yet. Because I'm still little. But I like to nibble on things. And I like to chew. Mm-hmm. And see, I'm Brewski. See? I'm a happy puppy. I'm just calm and I'm a baby. And that makes me tired, as you can see. And then I go, I got my second win! I got my second win! Yay! I love math. I love math. And Mommy's hand. Say that's enough with Brewski. All right. Now that was, of course, super duper duper fun. And Brewski, he's just a big bar. So now we have to plot the points for each shape, determine the area of the polygon, and then write an expression that could be used to determine the area. Which, in other words, we have to figure out the area and use formulas for that. So here we go. We're going to plot A. Now remember, we have to travel the X before the Y. So 1 up 3. There's our A. B is over 2. Up 8. C is over 8. Up 8. That's C. D is over 10. Up 3. And then E is 5, but 2 down. And then we have to connect our points. So... And we have a five-sided shape. We could know that by how many sets of uh, coordinate pairs we have. We have five, so we have a pentagon. So we have a pentagon, and Houston, we have a problem. Um, we have to find the area of this odd shape that doesn't have a normal formula. But when you look into this shape, I see several different shapes. Right away, I see that triangle. That cuts off a lot of everything. Um, so we're definitely going to, going to use this one and let's see what else we got. We could go a triangle. We could do a very small triangle. We have a rectangle. Um, Yeah, I think we can do that. Okay. So, it's a little weird, but we're going to go with it. So, first of all, let's tackle this triangle. So, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, I think it is. From 1 to 10, so that base is 9. So, that whole thing is 9. And height... One, two, three, four, five. So this triangle is base times height divided by two. Area equals the base was nine. The height was, I'm pretty sure I said five. Divided by two, 45. Divided by two, area equals 22 and a half. And we don't, we can just call them units squared for right now. So that's that big triangle. So now we have this little triangle, which we have a base of two. So area equals half base height. I'm using the, the formula so you can see how they're used. The base is two. The height is one, two, three, four, five. Half of two is one. One times five is five. Five units squared. So that's that triangle. That's that big triangle. A rectangle is kind of easy to figure out. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 by 5. So we have area equals length times width because it's the rectangle. So area equals 6 times 5. Area equals 30 units squared. 
and that's for the rectangle. And now we just have this little triangle right here, which is a one by one, two, three, four, five. So area equals base times height divided by two. Base is, I think one. Yep. Base is one times height five divided by two. Five divided by two, two and a half. Okay, unit squared. So we got, take out the height so we don't need it right now. We can easily count that out. So we have that triangle, rectangle, triangle, the big one. So uh, we add them all up. So we have 30 and then we have 22.5. We have a 2.5. 32.5, 22.5, and a regular 5. So we have 5 and 5 is 10. Carry the 1. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 3, 4, 5, 6. So our whole weird shapes area is 60 units squared after we add that all up. All right, so now we're going to look at one more weird one because this is stuff we do all the time. I was actually working on it with some high school kids the other day. And same kind of concepts here. All right, I've got to weigh down my dot cam because it's too light. All right, so negative 10, positive 2, that's my x, negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, up 1, 2, 3, 4. This is y. We're doing a triangle here. And Z, negative 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, up 1, 2, 3, 4, oh, down, sorry. I was going to say, that'd be one weird looking triangle. All right, so. See how they all cross diagonals? So the easiest way to do this is to build a big rectangle around the outside of it. So this is what I mean by that. Just like that. And instead of trying to find this, we're going to find these triangles on the outside after we put the big rectangle together and that whatever's left when we pop that out will be our answer to this problem. So we're going to find this triangle and we're going to find this triangle and we're going to find this big triangle and then we're going to look at the big rectangle and we're going to take away from the rectangle. So we have a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven across. So area equals length times width for this is for the big rectangle, okay? Let me move that over. Just saw it's not on the dot cam. There we go. So we have a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 times 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 77. Unit squared is the full rectangle. Just wanted to double check. Now we're going to find out those three triangles. So here we go. We have to go all the way over to this dot right here. So we have a 1, 2, 3, 4 base by a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, that. This one's got 1, 2, 3, 4 by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And this has got 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. All right. So here we go. Notice how these two are the same? Whatever we get here, we can just plop there. So area equals half base height, half a four, 
times seven have 